Hey everybody, I am back. Um, yeah, still house is still a mess. Um, hoping to have it done this week, uh, but I thought, you know what? I want to get a video out, at least one. I'm gonna try for two. My hair is a mess today. I just look terrible. Uh, so what I thought about, I'm, I want to do this in a two-parter. I want to talk about uh, timing. Uh, well, so metronome. Click track, those dreaded words that nobody wants to hear. Look at them on the um, Tascam, which I have sitting in front of me. I'm gonna do it in two parts. First part is going to be um, using the Tascam's click track and how to how to how to set it the way you want it. And then the second part, which will probably come out on Thursday, we'll see if I have time to do it with everything else going on. Um, and it will be about uh, setting up a, a tempo mapping, something you can't do on on the task game. You can't like switch your tempos, but there's always workarounds, and I'm going to show you a way that I would do it as a workaround. So this is this is part of my this is part of my I'm trying to get better at uh, reading music, sight reading, understanding theory, all that other stuff. Timing has always been one of those. I have no idea. Even when I play drums, I'm like, I have no idea what timing I'm in. I don't really, it really doesn't think, I don't think about it, but I've been trying to think about it. So that's where this is coming from. So let's, uh, let's switch over to the task cam. Now, this is how it looks when you start her up. Just, so I push the metronome button. So that's where the metronome button is. It's there. So click on the metronome button. And then this pops up. This is the default metronome screen. So it's off. Uh, level is 60. You can raise that. That's just to make it louder or quieter. Sometimes you want it louder because sometimes you can't hear it. Tempo is st set at 120. That's pretty much a standard tempo. Signature is 4-4, standard signature. And the bar display is off. Now, when I use this, because I like when you're a solo musician and you're recording yourself, um you have no choice you got to use it you 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 have to have something to keep tempo now a lot of you guys have drum machines they work great too and uh, i recommend them let me just try to get better on here there we go i really love this that that uh that hub uh um webcam i bought really works well uh you can see bad things you can see all the dust on my uh my machine so, standard metronome, you just press play. Oh, well, you press play, and first thing you do is turn it on. So, use the dial. You got, when you're recording, record and play. I'm gonna put on record and play, because I'm not, I'm testing it. You can have it where it's just on record, and then when you play back, you don't hear it. It's, that's actually nice if you're trying to see how well the, how well it sounds, and if there's any like gaps or anything in the, in the playing. So here we go. That is four, four times we got. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now you can change the timing of the tempo. I'm gonna leave the tempo the same for all of it. So, and if you know anything about, if you know anything about the time, the, the signatures, it's the number of quarter notes on in a bar that's how it works so three four is generally known as the waltz because it's two three one two three da 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 so it's very it's big bump 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 that's that's a waltz tempo now you can do two four you can go as low as one one so all that does is that's just Very hard to keep time in that. <laughs> so one one is as low as you can go. You can actually bring it to. So you have one quarter note, and then it's two. And it, well, it works very well. Now you can go. So you got one. So you got one quarter note. You go all the way to twelve. So you go twelve one. Go one two, which is. 
So two two is two two is like a march. One, one, two, one. Then you got so you got two four two. Up, so you got five, so you do some odd timing. And yeah, you got your, on your quarters, so you got quarters. So go up to 12, I think, with this one. Yep. Then you got your eight. And that's as far as you can get. As, so the highest you can go is 12 eights. So you can do the famous seven eights. Now what's nice is, you can turn on the bar display. So now I'll turn on the bar display. We'll go back to the home. Now it shows me the bar. So it's got one, first bar. So first bar, 01, meaning, meaning, uh, well, first first measure. And, and then 120, which is the tempo. So here it goes. So that gives you that that gives you your bars for what what bar you're on to do your for your song. Now what's nice about that is I've used this before, mainly in a scratch track. I've never used it on any any kind of final cut version. But what I did was I I was able I, I sat down and I had the verse. So I went through or I, yeah I went through I went I did the verse and I just and I and and I played it I played it on guitar I was doing a scratch track on guitar and I got it the way I wanted it. I got it exactly the way I wanted it, so then I, I, I then went and I did the chorus. So I knew how far the chorus, how many bars the chorus was. So I went and I, I, I did an in out on the beginning of the bar, end of the bar, or end of the end of the verse bar, and then I copied it and I pasted it over after the chorus again. So I didn't have to redo that part again. I just it was there. I just had it. Um, and it worked out great. So now I suggest, I, I highly recommend if you're like me, you're a solo guy and you are working on a song, this, this is the easiest way to keep timing. Now, I know people are like, well, I don't like playing it with a metronome. You need to. The better you get playing at a metronome, the less it sounds like you're playing with a metronome. It's just, it's just makes it sound nice. Like one thing I've been trying to do when I've been practicing drums is I will I will sit there and I will just I'll have the metronome going and then I will just practice until I can't hear the metronome anymore. So I'm not hearing the metronome in between anymore. And that is my suggestion to you. Practice with the metronome, get yourself really good at it, and then when you sit down and you record, you're you're right on and it'll just make everything so much easier for you. So that's today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Bye.